And I just wanted to ask you, when, when you take yourself back to that age, 8, 9, 10, 11 years old, even your teenagers, was there anything that somebody said to you that you just remember having a lasting impact? Like as moms, how can we encourage our sons? Oh, that's such a good question. I would say um, the greatest um, learning for me growing up was not what anybody said but it was being able to watch my dad truly being a hero in front of me and being able to see my dad not tell me hey timmy you need to go help people you need to love people you need careful people it was being able to watch him love people that could never do anything for him and being able to see that my entire life that changed my life it was to be able to see my dad when my mom says hey you know bob we only have a couple of dollars and him to say give it away, give the rest away. And for and this, that, that happened twice in my time growing up. And both times we had neighbors that said, you know, we don't know why. We just felt like we were supposed to come over here and give y'all dinner. You know, and you just see God's faithfulness show up. But so much of it, in my opinion, was because of their faithfulness, their faithfulness to, to just love people and not know what the results are going to be, their faithfulness to serve people and not know how it's going to end, their faithfulness to care for people, their faithfulness to move to the Philippines with four kids and then they had me over there. But then to see that every day, I, I just have to tell you, it is so contagious and so so many times I couldn't understand it. I didn't get it. I was a little scared by it. I was like, man, I just couldn't do that. I'm not as bold as you. I'm not as brave as y'all. I don't have as much faith as you. But there was something that, that instill is something so contagious. And I know I'm not even close to my, my to my parents and and their faith and in their boldness and in their bravery. But it's still something that I strive for, that I want to be more like every day. And I still talk to my dad all the time. And I call him literally just for advice because he's one of the wisest people um, that I know. And I still, even though he's fighting Parkinson's and he's been doing it for a long time, I still want to be more like him every day. Because even though he's fighting this terrible disease, he's still on mission every day. And if you ask him, hey, dad, how are you doing? He has one answer. I'm blessed. He won't ever say, I'm in so much pain, or I can't walk, or I can't get up, or um, he won't tell you how many times he fell, any of that. It'll just be, I'm blessed. That's someone that's on a mission. That's why it's so contagious to me.